all right welcome back Igbo youth shoot on site order by Buari to the military will commence on this state Ohaneze an apex Igbo social cultural organization Ohaneze Igbo has lamented and condemned the shoot on site order that was given by President Mamadou Buhari to the Nigerian military against Igbo youth. Oane Zendigo made it known that such an order was a call for another serious war and tension. The group further claimed that the alleged move would commence from Olu, a town in Imo state, in the next few days. Chief Ugbunaya, who is the National Publicity Secretary of Ohane Zendigo, made it known that Nigerian soldiers in Igbo land recently confirmed the report. The social cultural organization also made it known that the pattern of deployment of northern military officers to the southeast is worrisome. They made it clear that the Nigerian army has posted northern muslims as commander over its operations and um, brigades in anambra abia imo oka aqua ibom benue enugu edo delta and the river states chief ugbanaya added i don't think that use of force will solve this present problem of nigeria the best thing that should be done by the president and the federal government is to look for a way to negotiate if not things might not end well all right and then that has been it on this one the Igbo youth shoot on site order by Buari to the military will commence on this state the state that has been mentioned well there's been a lot of reactions though and then it is said that well they will never succeed rather they are to kill themselves and the Igbo youth will jump and pass. How many Fulani men parading with AK-47 have they shot on site since the order was given by PMB? The solution is to divide this country but our greedy politicians who called themselves leaders who prefer to be slaves to those dirty animals are the big problems here. All right, and then according to Lawson, it says referendum separation uh, of an entity called Nigeria. We are gradually getting closer as ethnic AIDS is now part of our national identity. We can do this without firing a single gun. All right, and then that has been taken. So because of the oil that was discovered in Imo State, that this government chooses to declare war in Igbo land. Imo precisely, no problem. Keeping, co keep coming. Amadioha will consume all of you overnight. This simply is a declaration of war against Ndigbo. Have you ever arrested any of the suspected and uh, he or she confesses to the ESN member that's another one. Have you ever arrested any of the suspects? Okay, and the he or she confesses to be ESN member. That's another one. Well, that has been asked by Fan Joe. Well, Kenneth Jonas said that well, their intention is to bring war to Igbo land because they have foolishly destroyed North, their homeland, and um, they wanted to do the same in Igbo land. But listen very carefully. You will not get that war. You're searching in Igbo. Our people are very wise. You guys said you love war and killings. Go back to North. He's waiting for you. There, there is not in Igbo land. Okay. Well, that has been said so far by Kenneth John. Well, Al Hassan Abra Ibrahim says, well, nobody is causing war in the East other than the terrorists amongst the good people of Igbo. If one is a meant its words, why shouldn't the elder admonish their youth and members of the dreaded IPOB and ESN? There are indications that some elders in Igbo 
Igbo land are very happy with the troubles their outlawed youth are making. Well, put sentiment and the embarrassedness aside and talk to yourselves before it is late. All right, that has been said by Alassane Ibrahim. All right, Amadi Christopher said that well. Replying to Alassane Ibrahim, he said, I have you admonished Boko Haram and Co. That's another one. You are talking about the high pop that they should talk to them. Have, they, have you been able to talk to your own Boko Haram in that place? And that's another thing. You will not, majority of them will not talk about what's going on in their own region. But when it comes to the issue of ESN that had been no peaceful, they are just this set of people are fighting just to protect their own land. They are just like vigilante security protecting their land, yet you are calling them terrorists. Well, the whole thing has shown to everyone what exactly we have in this country. All right, and meanwhile, Kola Wale Ishola said that well, all these are just adding to the problem on ground. Government themselves are building the mansion of war in this country, killing people is not the solution instead it will worsen the situation on ground obj had suggested solution to the problem on ground by buhari's advice are uh, adamant about it all right buhari's advisors are adamant about it i think that's what he meant to say well but he didn't command shoots at site in daura where kidnappers are that's another one they did not command that but just in Igbo land. Well, Abdul Karim Hademola says, Well, against youth, why are we so unsincere? Like policemen and um, soldiers are being killed by the ESN daily, and then um, police stations are being destroyed, and you are quiet about it. What a clueless organization. Well, the thing is, all right majority of things are actually been said so far on this one now majority of people will tell you that there there were some criminals caught they were called or known gunmen nobody knows all these people we do not know them but the my own take has been that why do we have you no know, trained security personnel in fact these are the set of people that were you no know, saddled with the responsibility of taking care of us but yet they are not performing they have not done anything to make it work uh, which is very wrong well um our own take has been that as far as we have security in this country they are supposed at least just get one of these people for us to know you are working just like apprehend one of these unknown government then it settles it because with what we are thinking it has shown that most of all these unknown government unknown government they are talking about they are this set of people that are even working for the federal government and that's a lot of people know already you can imagine what they said will be happening in lagos that the ipop is coming to you know uh, shoot or and uh, destroy or you know perform some kind of atrocities in Lagos that the Yoruba should be careful of which it was never so they were just trying to put enmity between the Igbos and the Yorubas and they thank God these set of people have been able to counter this and they, they have been like hmm. the Yorubas and Igbo they are in fact the Yorubas have said that the Igbos are not the problem they are not our problem because this set of people have their own agitation to follow they are of good people so nobody should put any immunity between the egos and we the Yorubas. so thank god a lot of you no know, truth started coming out and then you no know, to as it is majority of them are not ashamed of themselves well that has been it on this one my people a lot have been said meanwhile let me have your take on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless